Years ago, men were men, and they used to live on meat pies and pasties and beer. And women wore very, very big undergarments and used to do all their washing on the local stones in the river. Some say they even do that still around here a little bit today. But it also meant that back in those days, you didn't have things such as PCP air rifles. They used to rely on springs. And that's why we've got this, the Varark HW95 rifle. This is the walnut stock version of the rifle in 177 caliber. As with all Varark rifles, the attention to detail is second to none. And you can see that on the checkering on the side of the stock. And of course it comes with a gold colored trigger, which is two stage fully adjustable. And something that we really like on this show is an auto safety. There's a functional shoulder pad on the end of the rifle. Following along the mechanism where the spring sits, there's a big old chunk of metal where you put the pellet in. Even with the breech open, the section where you actually put the pellet in looks like it's been hand finished. I know it's not a review of the latest PCP gun that everyone wants to get on video. This is a review of a stalwart of a rifle that has been around, it's been round the block, it's been tried, it's been tested, and it works. People don't have six, seven, eight, nine hundred pounds to go out and buy a rifle, scope, pellet, bags, diver's bottle or pump to get going. People manage to save up a few hundred pounds and they want to walk out of the shop ready to go. This will do that for you. The HW95 is solid, solid wood, well this is walnut actually, and it feels really nice and weighty. Everything is polished to a high level and it balances really well in the hand. And something I always like to do with a rifle, particularly a Springer, is give it a good shake. See? Nothing rattles, no moving parts, which means it's nice and tight, just like me. So, let's see how it shoots. Before we start shooting at anything, I'm going to deal with an ongoing comment. Everyone says, you keep using the same pellet over and over again. And I thought, well, okay, we'll change that. So this morning before I came out, I put my hand into the pellet cupboard and I didn't look and I pulled out three tins. And I thought, we'll try them all. And this is what we got. The three tins that we got in the magical mystery pellet tin selection game were the RWS Super H points, the exact Diablos, and yes, the Day State Range Master Lies came out as well, would you believe it? But anyway, it's a great game, we'll try it again, and I'm sure it'll get copied by many people on YouTube. As usual, it's 25 metres, five shots, at that over there. I'm as keen as you are to find out if this rifle is pellet fussy. We'll start with the RWS's first. And now the exacts. And now the lies. Three different types of pellet, no correction to the scope, the crosshairs was always on the bullseye. Very interesting results. This rifle is not pellet fussy. 
but my shooting needs a bit of practice. A couple of hours with this up at the barns. I've had a great time. Straight out of the box, this has fired everything we've put through it and it's hit it with consistent accuracy. Yes, there is a little bit of a kick when it goes off. Yes, it's not as quiet as it could be even with the silencer on the end, but it is a nice bit of kit. As I said earlier, it's a stalwart of the airgun industry and everyone should be proud who owns it. In fact, we like it so much, we're actually going to use it in the next section. <laughs>